Your CPU supports instructions that this TensorFlow binary was not compiled to use, UXFX2. I have recently installed TensorFlow, Windows CPU version, and received the following message. Successfully installed TensorFlow 1.4.0 TensorFlow TensorBoard 0.4.0 RC2. Then when I tried to run. Which I found through, this URL. I received the following message. It ran as it should and output hello, TensorFlow, which indicates that the installation was successful indeed but there is something else that is wrong. Do you know what the problem is and how to fix it? What is this warning about? Modern PIS provide a lot of low-level instructions, besides the usual arithmetic and logic, known as extensions, for example S2, S4, UFS, etc. from the Wikipedia. Advanced Vector Extensions UFS, are extensions to the x86 instruction set architecture for microprocessors from Intel and AMD proposed by Intel in March 2008 and first supported by Intel with the Sandy Bridge processor shipping in Q1 2011 and later on by AMD with the Bulldozer processor shipping in Q3 2011. UFS provides new features, new instructions and a new coding scheme. In particular, UFT introduces Fused Multiply Accumulate FMA, operations, which speed up linear algebra computation, namely dot product, matrix multiply, convolution, etc. Almost every machine learning training involves a great deal of these operations, hence will be faster on a CPU that supports UFTs and FMA, up to 300%. The warning states that your CPU does support UFTs, hooray! I'd like to stress here, it's all about CPU only. Why isn't it used then? Because TensorFlow default distribution is built without CPU extensions, such as 4.1, 4.2, UFS, UFS2, FMA, etc. The default builds, ones from pip install TensorFlow, are intended to be compatible with as many PIS as possible. Another argument is that even with these extensions CPU is a lot slower than a KU, and it's expected for medium and large-scale machine learning training to be performed on a KU. What should you do? If you have a KU, you shouldn't care about a support, because most expensive ops will be dispatched on a KU device, unless explicitly set not to. In this case, you can simply ignore this warning by Or by setting export tf underscore cpp underscore min underscore log underscore level equals 2 if you're on Unix. TensorFlow is working fine anyway, but you won't see these annoying warnings. If you don't have a PU and want to utilize CPU as much as possible, you should build TensorFlow from the source optimized for your CPU with a FT, a FT2, and FMA enabled if your CPU supports them. It's been discussed in this question and also this GitHub issue. TensorFlow uses an ad hoc build system called Buzzle and building it is not that trivial, but is certainly doable. After this, not only will the warning disappear, TensorFlow performance should also improve. Update the TensorFlow binary for your CPU and OS using this command. The download URL of the WHL file can be found here. This URL.
CPU optimization with Pool. There are performance gains you can get by installing TensorFlow from the source even if you have a Pool and use it for training and inference. The reason is that some TF operations only have CPU implementation and cannot run on your Pool. Also, there are some performance enhancement tips that makes good use of your CPU. TensorFlow's performance guide recommends the following. Placing input pipeline operations on the CPU can significantly improve performance. Utilizing the CPU for the input pipeline frees the boot to focus on training. For best performance, you should write your code to utilize your CPU and boot to work in tandem and not dump it all on your pool if you have one. Having your TensorFlow binaries optimized for your CPU could pay off hours of saved running time, and you have to do it once. For Windows, you can check the official Intel MKL optimization for TensorFlow wheels that are compiled with X2. This solution speeds up my inference X3.